Hey, what's up everyone? Morty Croson here, and today we're gonna to be going over how to prevent groin injuries, and we're gonna start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Perform Slide. Reach your individual goals. You don't wanna just talk about straight line speed. We also wanna talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so this is gonna be an important video. I made another video like this, uh, I wanna say about a year ago that talked about groin that had a lot to do with more top speed and when you're running at top speed and what are some of the things that could end up affecting you. Uh, here, we're gonna go more through the start and really go more into the push-off. It's really important for really people that are playing the uh, traditional sports, football, soccer, uh, hockey is one of the players here, uh, baseball, anything we're gonna be changing direction, basketball, we have to be able to understand how to be able to do that effectively. And I think a lot of times in adolescence or younger athletes, there ends up being a little bit more of a propensity to have groin problems or hip injuries or things that are really bothering the uh, inside part of the leg. And so what we wanna be able to do is help you understand uh, what's happening and how to be able to prevent it. So both of these athletes here have issues in, in their right leg, right? And, and their ability to be able to um, really get over the groin injury. And, and by the way, if this ends up being beneficial for you guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, that really makes a big difference. And so uh, as we get into this, if there, you're like, man, this really ends up uh, helping me, click that thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna get more videos like this. We're always providing more and more information to how you can become a better athlete, how to be able to stay healthy, run faster, jump higher, be able to land, control your body. Uh, we build out programs for you as well. So there's a lot of great things that we do on, within this channel. And so what we're gonna see here is we see that the first athlete on the left, he's landing and you can really see as he lands, you can see that, that heel drop, right? And when that heel drops like that, what that means is that you're not able to properly stabilize within that ankle. And then when there's a push off, there's a big push off the inside part of the leg. And so what we'd wanna be able to see, and let me actually just change this real quick. What we'd wanna be able to see is you'd wanna be able to see somebody push off and really get great extension as they're pushing off, right? So when we're into this position, we wanna be able to control right and be able to get extension within this leg so see the difference between how that push off is happening in comparison to how this push off is happening so when you're push off more with the inside part of the leg what you're doing is you're using more of those adductor muscles those muscles that end up being uh, the, the muscles that, that are attached to your groin, right? The quote unquote groin muscles are those adductors. So instead of getting extension using the big glutes and the hamstrings, those big primary movers, we end up utilizing more of the adductors. We do that over a long enough period of time. We put ourselves a little bit more at risk for injury there. Uh, and so now we're gonna go ahead and let's actually change the other one here. And we'll go to the other athlete. And so what stands out to me with this athlete is one, just really an excessive amount of internal rotation here. So as he's coming through with the leg, we can see how much outside that foot gets, right? Even if we look to see the left one hasn't had as much issues with the left, see how much cleaner that left leg comes forward and through. It's pretty good. Right side though, we can see how much that foot goes all the way off to the side and is coming around uh, all the way and, and to me what ends up happening here is that we're not getting full internal rotation of that that hip when we're pushing off so instead of being able to get like a a getting back into the extension we'll go into the third step here for this athlete as well so we can see this ends up being extension through the leg so we're getting internal rotation and extension which is going to again get those glutes and those hamstrings going Right, but what happens here with athlete on the left is as we're going to get into extension, there seems to be a lack of an ability to get true extension through that hip and instead just relying on the adduction of the knee. Again, that's what the groin does, it does adduction. So uh, when we talk about the muscles that are controlling the hip and, and really pushing the leg kind of out to the side, those glute med, glute min, uh, muscles, those are gonna be abductors. That's gonna be bringing the, the foot away from the body, right? Abduction is what that is. Adduction is when we're bringing the foot in towards the body, right? Or the leg, the parts of the leg in towards the body. So as the, the knee is turning out, it's doing external rotation, right? So the hip is externally rotating or turning outwards. And then the knee is abducting or going away. Okay, and then as he's pushing off, we can see that knee come back in, 
right? But there's not enough extension with that action. It's just adduction. It's just knee coming inward. So, so what we see here is we see knee bend here, which then allows for knee extension, hip extension. What we see here is we see, I mean, slight knee bend, right? But we don't see very much extension in the knee here. We just see internal rotation of the knee and also adduction, or sorry, internal rotation of the hip and adduction of the knee, which is just putting, again, a lot of pressure on that inside part of the hip. So those end up being, to me, the two main things that are causing the groin problems. And really, it boils down to one problem that is seen in two different patterns. One of them was more of a adduction with the push off of the foot and through the, the hip, right? Where that the athlete was pushing off with like the inside part of the leg. Still, what ended up happening was not enough action of hip extension, not enough utilization of the hamstrings, instead relying on the adductors. The additional option or option number two, we saw not bad foot mechanics, saw good, good push off, good extension through the foot, nothing too bad there. But what we saw was that the hip way too much of a reliance because of some tightness within the hamstrings on abduction or sorry, adduction, bringing that knee in and internal rotation of that knee. So we're still not getting the right amount of extension uh, within the hip, which leads to overutilization of the adductors. And so that ends up being the main thing when you're having reoccurring problems, it comes down to what are the muscles that we're primarily utilizing and how are we utilizing those in our mechanics. And, and I always say this, like when you have an injury, it comes down to the mechanics and how you are moving the body. And it's the same thing when it comes to performance enhancement. How do we improve our performance? We have to get down into the mechanics and understand where do we have issues there. And once we can understand that, that will make it so then we can improve our ability to run faster uh, and, and jump higher, do everything. Once we can get our mechanics down, landing, all of that comes down to the specifics of how are we doing it. So if this makes sense to you, again, like that video, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of things in the description down below to be able to help you in improving your overall ability to uh, run faster is a big thing that's going to be in the description down below. So we have uh, breakdown options, we have three month programs, we have breakdowns that have a breakdown included, or we have programs that have breakdowns included, which means that when you sign up, you will not only get the programs that will have five to six workouts per week, depending on how much you need, it's all customized programming, but also you get breakdowns with me or coaching sessions with me. And that's where the program can really differentiate itself. It's because when you can actually get coaching from me, who is very, very specific on the mechanics and analytics, that's how you're gonna get the best results. So it's more expensive going that way, but if you want to get the most out of the program, the way to go is that three month program with breakdowns included. And again, it's gonna be, it's like 497, I wanna say or 397 right now. And it couldn't be more valuable though. Couldn't be a more valuable program online than that. There's one person that's in there that just recently, he's been in for like four weeks, I wanna say. Uh, so far has went from running a seven, I wanna say it was seven, eight, seven, nine in the 60, 60 meter, uh, now down to like seven, two, seven, one. Uh, I know it, it shaved off like 0.6 seconds, a little bit over 0.6 seconds so far in their 60 meter by, by joining the program and really getting into the mechanics and still has a lot of work to do. So you could be that great success story as well. Just got to invest in yourself. Check out the description. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.